Today is the day we take ownership of the Subaru WRX. Hey guys,
Uh, I don't know what the rest of this video is going to entail. I don't know if I'm going to carry this into tomorrow. Um, and like I told you guys, I'm in between jobs now too. I just got confirmation from a job I applied for that pays really good, really high, that I could do a lot of things to the Subaru pretty damn fast if I got that job. And uh, I have an interview tomorrow. So if we get that job, you will be seeing a lot of things getting done to the Subaru. So we're gonna move on to the next part of today's video. I did just want to update everybody. I do still have the block off plate on the WRX if you can listen. <laughs> it is still on there. She's running strong. She still pulls hard. And as you can see, we'll see. Half throttle is still built full boost at barely over 3,000 RPM. So, I mean, it still hits that 16 pounds of boost, like just at 3,000, 3, maybe you know, a little bit over 3,100, but it pulls all the way to that 7,000 RPM at full boost. So I think that's pretty badass. This thing pulls, I mean, it has 4,000 RPM of a usable boost range, which for a turbo car is absolutely nuts. Not a lot of turbo cars can use 4,000 RPMs in a boost. So, but I guess when you got a baby, baby turbo, I mean, I think these things, I don't know exactly, but I want to say they're like 45 millimeters or something. Like, I mean, if baby, I barely, like give it half throttle. That's in fifth gear, mind you. Like I'm in fifth gear going 80, you know, we're at just over 3000 RPMs. <laughs> I just barely touch it. I mean, I don't even have to speed up a few mile an hour and it just... It's great, so just figured I'd give everybody an update. That makes it official. The Subaru is officially 100% mine. All right, this. Now we're just eyeballing it, obviously. Now, obviously, 
<laughs> it's not perfect by any means, but as you can tell, we're starting to make a little bit of leeway on the garage, add a little bit of character to it. I added a sign that says caution, occasional flying tools in this area. I put some diamond plating covers over the light switches and the plug-in. Uh, the rest of the plugins and stuff around here will be getting it as well. But I just wanted to test to make sure I actually liked it. Uh, we're getting there, slowly but surely. I've got my compressor set up, which eventually I will be getting a bigger compressor, obviously. But I now own a car for the channel. That's turbo, five-speed manual, all-wheel drive, so I can drive it all year round, have fun in the winter. I have a fancy Corvette wheel as a reel. It's not really a reel, but as a holder. I got my compressor, starting to get some character on the walls and whatnot. Starting to finally get it all cleaned up, getting some cool stuff that belongs in here. This winter is lighting. You guys will see that coming up very soon. Um, like I said, I have the interview for that job tomorrow. Bring you into a little bit of my personal life. I'm ready for it. It is very good money. I'm not going to bring you that personal. Uh, it's very good money. And uh, we are going to be doing some huge, huge upgrades. Like right now, I have my two socket lights and I have two other lights that actually supply lighting to the garage. I don't know if you can see me. I am going to take that to two, four, six sets of lights on top of my two socket lights in the center. I also have my light over top of my bench, which I will be adding two more lights on top of my bench as well in hopes that this place just glows. Um, I'd like to do an acid strip on the floor too, just kind of get rid of all the paint and shit that I personally put on the floor. We've got a bunch of stuff coming for the desk this winter, the workbench, um, and I want to do some sort of flooring and things like that. Big tool upgrades, I'm going to be buying a lot of tools for the garage. I have a lot of plans, so all you got to do is just stick around. Give me time. All good things take time. So I'm slowly getting there. I'm starting to be able to upload more. Like I said, I finally have a car I can work on. It's not a truck. I love the truck, but the truck only had so far I could go uh, without literally ripping the motor apart and the trans apart because that was quite literally my next step other than body work. So I can do a lot of things with this, a lot of simple bolt-ons, tunes, things like that to actually enjoy it. Uh, without having to rip apart the entire car. So, pretty uh, pretty chill video today, pretty slow. Um, taking ownership of the Subaru, plastering the old plates on the wall, and letting you guys in on a little bit of my personal life. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Might be a little bit shorter, but have a great, great rest of your guys' night. And always remember, good things take time, and they're going to happen to you soon.